Oh no, nah, today's one of the wildest days in pack opening history. Take a look at the brand new packs on core. Inside these packs is something we have not seen in 2K23 until today. Dark Matter Aldridge, Invincible Kawhi Leonard, which is awesome, that's not it. Russell Westbrook in invincible form, but that's still not it. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you the first end game in 2K23, my team, Kevin Wayne Durant. And that end game Dark Matter card art is so much better than in 2K22. Guys, this is insane. A 6 9 shooting guard. Do you know out of all the end games we got in 2K22, Kevin Durant was the tallest shooting guard as an end game card? And now he's the first one in 2K23. We're probably getting an endgame Victor Wembenyama next week. This is nuts. And then, of course, you've got someone I'm insanely excited for. Dark Matter Scotty Barnes. There's an invincible Porzingis. Eh. Dark Matter Malone, I mean, we all got 13 reasons why we don't like this man, but we're gonna move on. Mark Eaton, who is likely gonna be the Yao Ming counter, haven't looked at his stats. If he can shoot the three, he is going to be must have. And then we got Kyle Korver, Rudy Gay, who can also play the two. This card's gonna be unreal. Rondo, who's just kind of a throwaway. Invincible Jason Tatum. I just finished recording a squad builder in which I could have used this card a little bit earlier, but y'all are gonna see this weekend. There's also a Kyrie Irving, and that's gonna do it. This is going to be a 13 player set, and there's not really any specific card that I look at and I just say L. I get that Rondo's undersized, but it's still the boy Rondo. Now that's not even the craziest part about today's packs. Wanna see something even more wild? When I back out and we go all the way to the right, 2K has already added guaranteed end game packs with the guaranteed invincible pack. So in this invincible set, Tatum, Kawhi, and Westbrook are in here. And then for the end game side, you have to choose between Porzingis and Kevin Durant. That must mean that Porzingis card is insane if you have to debate between that card and Kevin Wayne Durant as an end game. I can't lie to you guys, 2K has officially figured me out. Not only did they put the first end game in packs, but they also put Dark Matter Scotty Barnes on there for the cherry on top. We going hunting. 1 million VC has been loaded, and the crazy thing is, I'm a little bit scared that we're gonna be spending more than that, man, but hey, I'll take it. Pack market, I need y'all to be good to me. What just happened? The odds are at 20%, so still not quite as high as, you know, the Tuesday Super Packs, but of course there's an end game in here. Now we're not gonna start off by opening the guaranteed packs. We need to see if we can pull them out of the boxes first. I'm glad the boxes did not go up in price, and the Kevin Durant hunt starts right now. Now, of course, if you guys are new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I think we're what, a thousand? subscribers away from 440,000. Y'all have been going insane on the videos recently. Thank you so much for that, guys. And let's just hope this is off to an insane start. Expect the worst, it might be Carl Malone. Oh, what? That's how you start a pack opening, ladies and gentlemen. He's arguably the best regular dark matter in these packs too. Scotty freaking Barnes. Is that holographic? I can't tell. But he can play point guard. He's got a new jumper finally. Now nah, we're starting off good. But yeah, man, I hope you guys have had yourselves a nice week. Let me know in the comments. As always, I need that vibe check. What have you guys been up to? Do you guys have any plans for the summer yet? I know for me, I'm going to be gone for a bit next week. So I'm going to try to pre-record some videos for you guys. But yeah, definitely trying to get out and enjoy the outdoors more this summer. That's for sure. That's not going to stop me from recording the bangers. But life is important to enjoy all at the same time. But we keep it moving, man. Okay, 420. This is the troll number. Last week it was John Stockton. This week it's gonna be Carl Malone. Maybe I'm wrong. The fact that there's an endgame card in here means I deserve to pull at least a couple invincibles, right? We shouldn't need to use the guaranteed invincible pack. In fact, I will not. The only guarantee I want today is Kevin Durant, man. But uh, let's keep things going here. Five out of 20 back to back. Okay, at least we're seeing Dark Matters. 
Usually the odds would be terrible. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I was beyond stunned when they announced Endgame Kevin Durant. Apparently this is when we got Endgames last year, which was what, Scotty Barnes and Magic Johnson, but it still almost feels like it was too early for Endgame cards this year. Cause I don't think they in released the Invincible cards according to schedule. So now content moving forward is about to be crazy. Enjoy what you can with the cards that you love because Everything's about to feel the same pretty soon. Nonetheless, 9 out of 20 here, hoping for the best, man. I want to see some braids. Who is that? Western? Power forward? Number 12? That is going to be LaMarcus Aldridge. This guy honestly doesn't get enough love for how deadly him and Lillard were back in the day. He was hooping up until he had that condition, and he was kind of washed when he went to the Nets, stuff like that, but... Nah, Aldridge was hooping. That man was dangerous in the post. Okay, I don't know how to talk to you. That's the first song that came to my head. I just know I find myself getting lost with you. What? Who's that? Okay, so that's um, likely the one dark matter you don't want to pull. There's nothing wrong with him, except that he's a Celtic and he's six foot one. Two things just do not work at this point in the year, man. But hey, hopefully, like, this is what I mean. Cards like Rondo, need to get blessed before you throw a glitchy jumper on somebody like Jonathan Bender. People that have never just even heard of him and they make him the deadliest card in the game. So hopefully 2K is a bit more balanced when it comes to that stuff next year because it feels like they were more balanced in 2K22 than 2K23. When we got that Yao Ming this year, literally all hell broke loose. When we got that Jonathan Bender, when we got, um, what's his name? I can't even think of him, Tim Thomas. He was one of the most broken cards in the game as well, so hopefully things are a little bit more paced out for the smaller cards, because smaller cards definitely need more love early in the year. But uh, here we are, pack number 16, no signs of any other dark matters. We need at least one more dark matter for it to be 20%. So if we don't see one more, I'm gonna be pissed. I gotta go see the auction house. Oh, there it is. Okay, so we can't complain now. Gilbert doesn't look too happy though. Let's see here, man. End game me. End game me. That looks like it's going to be Kyle. One of the deadliest catch and shoot shooters in NBA history. I'm pretty sure his three point percentage is up there. Like Steve Kerr is the highest, but Kyle Korver is really up there. Oh nah, Kevin Durant is 1.5 mil with three and a half hours to go. That is absolutely crazy. We are gonna need absolute faith in the badonk donk for this pack opening. It came through for me last time. Can it come through for me this time on to box number two? Our hunt continues, man. At the very minimum, if we don't see some invincibles fly out of the regular boxes, I'll be a little bit upset because now they've got like what? Still four of them in there, except now the end game is the chase card. So increase the odds. Throw me a Kawhi Leonard. That's my guy. He won my country a championship. I think I just deserve him as a whole, especially for how much money I have spent alone in the last week, 2K. Y'all go see my videos. It's been a lot of VC. I said I would slow down, but it's been banging, man. We just can't. 10 packs in and no sign of a dark matter. Why do I feel like this is the same pattern of pack openings? First box is okay. Second box is always horrible until we start the second half of the 20 box. But right there is a dark matter at 11. Come on. We haven't even started the Carl Malone trolls. There is a lot of potential to be just trolled like crazy in these pack openings. There's only been one Dark Matter in 15 packs. There is no way in hell that is 20%. Oh my goodness, it's looking worse and worse by the pack. 2K, I offer you my Luka Doncic cool posed figurine thing. If you can give me something nice, you can have this, Ronnie. Oh my gosh, we're about to get one Dark Matter. That's literally, what, not even 5%? Oh my goodness. We just got scammed live on camera. We clutch it out with one more, but that's still only 10%. That's not 20, so not exactly a good look. I'm not gonna get too excited now because 2K starting to troll me a little too much. Who's that? So that looks like it's gonna be LaMarcus Aldridge once again. So for the next half hour, I'm assuming, we're stuck in the window of Kyle and Aldridge, and then suddenly it's gonna switch to like Kyrie and Carl Malone. Nonetheless though, welcome to the team. A lot of these cards look like they're gonna be awesome budget cards. I'm definitely gonna have to get you guys a video on my boy Scotty Barnes, but you already knew that. Okay, so these boxes are not starting off quite as hot anymore. I even backed out into the main menu. 
five packs in so far and still no sign of a dark matter technically the odds are supposed to be a dark matter every five packs and just like that i'm already concerned because uh the odds are visibly dropping in front of my eyes it's times like this where i just want to stop pack opening for like 10 minutes because it always looks like they're messing with something what are you about to go into pack nine here and there it is down the middle now this can't be Carl Malone because he was more of a, you know, pack 13 guy. So show me end game Kawhi Leonard, invincible, something. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. He's probably the dark matter with the most value right now out of all of them, except for maybe Mark Eaton. But again, I haven't seen if that card has a three pointer or not. Hey, my boy, Scotty 2k. You've got to update his player model. He's got, you know, the twists make that 15. See, this is where I start to get concerned, y'all because they start messing with stuff. I might just go open some singles or something for a bit and then come back to boxes because why are the boxes suddenly this bad? Still only one dark matter in what, 18 packs? Like th This is a scam, which is why I'm glad there is a guaranteed pack because when dumb stuff like this happens, you can just get your Kevin Durant and be on your way. That's guaranteed. Watch this be one dark matter again. One dark matter in 20 packs explain that yeah so 20 percent my butt cheeks one huh? dark matter in 20 packs the math is not mathing instead i'm gonna open a couple singles here see if some dark matters can fly out and then go back to the 20 box because right now the vibes are just not there hey haven't seen that in a while damn now bless me up oh that looks like someone different nope that's gonna be kyle Ooh, it's holographic it's not the greatest card but it, it's still holographic hey there it is another dark matter we slow down for quite a bit not gonna lie open at least like eight or nine more singles this looks like it's a change of pace he's got the fro number 11 what Lol. okay i was gonna say Kyrie did not wear the number 11 on the calves yo we neither did he have a fro all right, man, I've seen enough. We're back into the regular packs. Dark Matter on pack number two. Nick Anderson looks curious about it. It might be something different. Oh, no. I don't want to say it, man. I've said it too many times. There's 13 reasons I'm not messing with him. I wonder if he is a good card, because Malone has always been, like, a deadly card in my team since, like, 2K18. Little pink diamond coach pull there. Okay, I'll take it. In our last pack opening, we got Dark Matter Bill Russell as a coach 420 in the middle don't troll me do something nice for me i'm seeing people pull invincibles on my twitter that looks like it's gonna be that wrong jersey number man again point guard number two from the cleveland cavaliers it is going to be Kyrie irving where do you guys think he's gonna end up or does he re-sign with the dallas mavericks there's some rumors that he might want to go to Miami. He would be deadly there, considering Miami could definitely use some more shot creators. Like, that got a little bit exposed in the finals. When Jimmy Butler's not getting it going, you need somebody else there. Yup, the pack luck is vibing again. We got it on pack two, pack four, and now pack six. You guys owe me at least four more dark matters in this box for all the previous ones. Oh my goodness, this man is a troll. Okay, so we're definitely not going to be seeing Mark Eaton anytime soon because it's Kyle Korver now or Carl Malone. All these K's, man. Just, just too many of them. It wasn't number eight, but that's dark matter number four in the first half of this box. This is what we deserve. Please, please, with the cherry on top, Mr. Ronnie. Oh. Trolled. I was like, hold on. Does Kevin Durant have an all-time dark matter? No! We just pulled the first end game in 2K23, my team! That's what I'm talking about! That's what I'm talking about! Oh my god, we did it, bro! We did it! We don't need that stupid option pack anymore! Oh my god, it's right there! 
Endgame Kevin Durant has been pulled, man. Let's go! Yes! All it took was going back to the singles to make sure they reset the voodoo, man. Holy shit. That, that, that did not look like Kevin Durant from the back. Pause on that. That, oh my gosh, back to back. Back to back. That's five Dark Matters in this first 10 packs. Is this the God Box? If this ends up being an Invincible or another Kevin Durant, y'all better get ready to mute the video. I'm gonna be screaming. Pause. What? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Hell no. Okay, it's Kyle. Yeah, Kyle, you're great at ruining moments, bro, but that's fine because I'm already losing my voice. We really pulled Endgame Kevin Durant already. I struggled to pull Invincible Jordan. I couldn't even pull Invincible LeBron without the option pack, but here we are. Kevin Wayne Durant. Come on. What the hell is going on? That's six. And we just three-peated on Dark Matters. According to my calculations, you always have faith in the Badonkadonk. Say that in the comments once again. Who is this? Pulling three Dark Matters in a row right after pulling an endgame card tells me nothing except one thing. Faith in Badonkadonk. In the comment section, manifest greatness, and you might pull something crazy. Now, if we get four Dark Matters in a row here, I might have to leave the room. Damn. Come on. Yup. My favorite number. Number 16. <laughs> No. So we're now at a total of what? Seven Dark Matters in this box? Seven or eight. Nonetheless, that number is crazy. Why was Batum looking at me like that? Two more packs here. Imagine we clutch it out on pack 20 and it's gonna be the Kawhi man. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Okay, the laugh did nothing for me. Yeah, that's Artis Gilmore. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, was quite literally the definition of a god box. Pulling an endgame and then three-peating on back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back Dark Matters is a literal madness. A literal madness. I'm expecting this box to be one of the worst boxes in human history. Because the box we just had, we don't deserve anything more. I could pull nothing for the rest of these pack openings and be happy. I don't even have to go get those guaranteed option packs because even though it was a guaranteed card, it's still a stupid amount of VC that you gotta spend to get those cards. And now I don't have to worry about it. Instead, we can keep hunting for Invincibles this weekend. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, here's the deal as Kyle Korver makes his entrance. If we manage to get 7,500 likes on this video. I will continue to hunt for Invincible Porzingis and Invincible Kawhi Leonard in another pack opening sometime this weekend. I know Father's Day is on Sunday, so I'm really gonna have to lock in to get you guys a video. But if y'all wanna see it, y'all can see it. We did pull the big fish though in Kevin Durant, so that's really all that matters. I still can't believe that really happened. And it only took under a million VC. Like, y'all have seen how much we've been spending on these videos. I'm so relieved. Oh yeah, number seven. Usually a lucky number, but I'm not even gonna ask for too much. All I want is an invincible at this point. Lamarcus Aldridge. Do y'all remember when he had like the best base in the game at one point? Like everybody in the park was like, I need the Aldridge base. It is the base, but now everyone's just broken and OP. There was a diamond Kyrie right there. Probably has the right jersey number, but yeah, if any my team dev is watching this, please change that jersey number back to number two. The number 11 with a Cavs jersey, it just looks disgusting. Mm. On my lucky number once again, the vibes are immaculate, man. Show me something I don't have yet. Oh, damn. I like that card art of Kyrie. You gotta give me the short hair version of Kyrie. Afro Kyrie got boring in like 2K21 once you guys started spamming him like crazy. I want more variation in player models in 2K24, please. But uh, right here, we're going towards the end of the box, and again, it wasn't the greatest box, but it, it's still a good box because we're getting Dark Matters, and we already hit the goal, man. Everything else is just the cherry on top. 20,000 more Kyries. Final pack of this box. Bro, how many Dark Matters were in this box? I felt like it was like six. These last two boxes have more than made up for the dumpster fire boxes we got before. Faith in Badonkadonk. Nope, nope, Kyle, you're killing the vibes. 
you're killing the vibes. Okay, so we still need Kawhi Westbrook. We got the Durant. You see that original owner sticker. Need Porzingis. Mark Eaton. Oh, Rudy Gay. I wanted to do another 450, but I don't know if I can. My voice is legitimately fading as we continue this video. Oh, is this going to be a double Kyrie? I wouldn't hate that. As if I said the only card I'm surprised we haven't pulled is Rudy Gay. And he quite literally flies out of the pack. Faith in Badonkadonk, ladies and gentlemen. What the hell? <laughs> Double Dark Matters again. We haven't done this in like two weeks. Okay, so I'm assuming it's going to be Kareem or LeBron for the first one. Okay, so this looks like it's going to be Kareem. Thank goodness we pulled the actual Invincible one before we found out there was a troll one last week. So that made me feel happy. Cap. And it's... Yo, there is holographic flying out the butt cheeks today, bro. Come on. Manifest greatness on the double dark matter. That's going to be Rondo. Oh, yeah. Flex on him. He used to be such a deadly card early on. I forget what 2K it was where people were actually using him. We've got just enough for a 10-pack box, so let's see what kind of luck is in here. For the Encore, we're opening Encore packs. Interesting. I might go to the singles. Hold on. These guys might be telling me something different. All I want is Mark Eaton, honestly. And that's not Mark Eaton. I can't wait for 2K to make him and Stockton a duo, and then just make them fly out of packs like crazy together. Okay, so we got literally nothing for the rest of this box, unless we clutch it out here and make a 20%. Nope. Time to open some singles. Okay. I want Westbrook so bad now, man. Westbrook. Oh! Oh! Oh, shit! No. No. No, not again. 2K! I can't keep ending my videos like this! just yet as if the Kawhi right after is I wasn't even looking bro we got trolled now I can go to bed in peace nope it's black and white what is going on right now? 